Hello, my name is Adam and I'm pre-sales consultant at Stormit. Stormit as an AWS Select Consulting Partner can help you make the most of what AWS Cloud has to offer. Today we will take a look on Amazon S3 Intelligent Tiering. AWS launched this storage class in 2018. It adds the capability to take advantage of S3 without needing to have a deep understanding of your data access patterns. At first, we will look at Amazon S3 storage classes, then on what is intelligent tiering and how it works after 2021 update. Then we will look into AWS Management Console for a little demo and you will learn how to use it for your files and folders in S3 buckets. In the last section of this video, you will learn more about S3 intelligent tiering pricing and I will make a simple cost comparison between standard S3 pricing and intelligent tiering pricing. S3 provides different levels of reliability and availability through its storage classes. Each object in S3 has a storage class associated with it. Each storage class has a different cost structure and guarantees about how quickly you can access your data. Some of them even have a minimal storage duration. Today we will only talk about the S3 Intelligent Tiering Storage class, which automatically chooses between five storage classes based on your settings. But more about that later. AWS created S3 Intelligent Tiering to solve the problem of using the correct storage class and optimizing costs when the access patterns are irregular. S3 Intelligent Tiering is a storage class designed to optimize storage costs by automatically moving data to the most cost-effective access tier without affecting performance or operational overhead. When your access patterns change, S3 Intelligent Tiering automatically saves costs by moving data between storage classes. There were major updates in 2021 that divides S3 Intelligent Tiering into two main solutions. We will take a look on them in the next section. So, the first solution is Automatic Access Tiers plus Optional Deep Archive Access Tier. Objects uploaded or transferred to S3 Intelligent Tiering are automatically stored in the first Frequently Accessed Tier. Intelligent Tiering then works by monitoring access and usage patterns and then moving objects that have not been accessed for 30 consecutive days to the Infrequent Access Tier. After another 60 days in the Infrequently Accessed Tier, objects that have not been used will be moved automatically to the Archive Instant Access Tier. And if you activate the optional Deep Archive Access Tier, these objects will be automatically moved after another 90 days. Objects in the Deep Archive Access Tier will be retrieved within 12 hours. So the second solution is Archive plus Deep Archive Access Tier and is very similar to the previous, but if you activate the Archive Access Tier for further lower costs, S3 Intelligent Tiering will stop using Archive Instant Access Tier and automatically move objects that have not been accessed for 90 days to the Archive Access Tier. And if you activate Deep Archive Access Tier, these objects will be automatically moved after another 90 days, a total of 180 days. When an object is in Archive Access Tier and it's restored, the object will be moved to the Frequent Access Tier within a few hours and then be ready for your retrieval. Objects in the Archive Access Tier will be retrieved within 3 to 5 hours and if they are in the deep archive, they will be retrieved within 12 hours. So let's look into the AWS Management Console for our demo. I will try to show you how to use Intelligent Tiering Storage class for your folders and files in simple S3 buckets. So we are in the AWS Management Console and now we go to S3 and we will create our bucket for these purposes 
and I will just give some random name and we don't have to change anything in here and just click on create bucket and we have our new bucket and now we <coughs> go and upload our first file so I will just choose some random file it's a picture and here in properties you can change the storage class right away and click on upload and close and as you can see our storage class for this file is intelligent tiering and now I will just create folder uh, so it will be it test just don't choose anything here and we have our new folder I will upload again some files into it and now I will not change the storage class I will just upload it and go back and we are in the folder go back into the bucket and just select folder and click on actions and edit storage class and right here I will change the storage class for the wall folder in our S3 bucket and click on create and on IT test again and as you can see our storage class for these three files is intelligent tiering here so it's fine now I will go back to the bucket and click on properties and go to our archive configurations and right here I will create our first configuration I will select our name as archive and our configuration will apply to all objects in our S3 bucket and here you can see our rule actions and first of them is archive access tier and the second is deep archive access tier I will choose deep archive access tier and here you can select after how many days your files will be moved to this archive access tier and here is the warning about 12 hours retrieval time for these files so I will just choose create and our configuration is done and if our files will be 180 days in our S3 bucket they will be moved to deep archive access tier actually basically S3 glacier deep archive so I will go back to our S3 bucket and what if you want to know in which access tier our files are uh, as you can see, you can see the intelligent tiering here as storage class, but you can't see any information about infrequent, frequent or archive access tier. I will just click through some properties here and as you can see, uh, here is access tier, okay, but you don't see in which of them is this file. So how to how to actually get this information you can get this in management and in here you can create inventory configuration i will just click on create inventory configuration i will just write it test again and as you can see here is our output format uh, this configuration this inventory configuration will basically create a file the csv file in which we will find our information about access tiers for our files and 
I just click on Browse S3 and select our test packet. So this is the part where, where our files will be, our CSV files. And I will just choose, as you can see here are additional fields. I will just choose intelligent tiering access tier. We don't need anything else. And click on create. Here is a warning that our first report will be available after up to 48 hours. Uh, we don't have to wait. I actually created one bucket before and I'm, I can just go to the folder here and here you can find the check folder after our report will be prepared and go to data and as you can see we have csv here under gz so it's uh, it's a zip file basically and i will just download this file and i will show you what's in it so i have our csv file here opened and as you can see here is the information which we need. First is our storage class, which is intelligent tiering. And the second is our access tier. And it's a frequent access tier. Normally you could see some different access tier here, but I only have four files for test purposes. So Normally you can see here some archive access tier or, or some different access tier available to you. But uh, this is everything for our CSV file. This is uh, the simplest way how to find an information about your files in S3 buckets and in which access tier are they in. And one last thing in the AWS management console, I will show you how to leverage lifecycle rules for intelligent tiering. We will just select our rule name. And as you can see, here is And one last thing in the AWS management console, I will go to management and I will show you how to leverage lifecycle rules for our files. Because if you want to somehow change storage class for every uploaded file without the need to change anything, you can just leverage lifecycle rules. Here we have selected that our storage class for transitions in intelligent tiering and uh, here just select zero for the days after object creation. And I will just create this rule, this new rule and go back to our bucket and I will plot one file just for testing again. And I will click upload and go back to our bucket. It can take up to one day till our file will be moved to S3 intelligent tiering automatically via lifecycle rules. But it is still the simplest possible way how to transition all uploaded files to S3 intelligent tiering. This is everything in AWS Management Console and we can go back to our presentation. So what about intelligent tiering pricing? You pay normally for monthly storage, requests and data transfer. When using intelligent tiering, you pay a small monthly per object fee for monitoring and automation. There is no retrieval fee and no fee for moving data between tiers. And for the storage, you are built the same as for normal S3 buckets, but your files are moved automatically between these tiers. 
For example, objects in the frequent access tier are built at the same rate as S3 standard. Objects stored in infrequent access tier are built at the same rate as S3 standard infrequent access and so on. And let's look at our cost comparison. We use the following example, which takes into account one year of usage of S3. Objects are placed in Europe, Frankfurt region. We only use automatic access tier, which uses frequent, infrequent and archive instant access. We have two and a half million objects of half megabyte each that are placed into our S3 bucket. Each month, half of the objects are modified by put requests and some of them are read by get requests. This is a very simplified view, but it should show you how you can save money without operational overhead with intelligent tiering. And here is our calculation for our example and it should be possible to save approximately $117, which is 18% in this scenario when using S3 intelligent tiering. And you just basically need to configure your files to use S3 intelligent tiering instead of standard S3 storage class. And these files will always be ready instantly for you with the same durability as S3 standard. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos about AWS services, subscribe to our channel. Or if you want to learn more about other services, visit our website and blog. Links are in the description below. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.